one's day is gratifying. So many people turn to me for guidance. Gratifying, but perhaps not surprising. I have, after all, been butler to the De Rothschilds of Gunfrey Park for, well, long as I can say. Well, a happy household depends upon the combined efforts of a well trained and disciplined staff, and that depends upon skilled leadership. An experienced butler will run a tight ship where each and every servant knows what is expected for him or her and how best to do it. Oh, do you intend to keep a substantial wine cellar or a selection of fine plate and silver? You do. The good butler will also be essential in maintaining and securing the valuable connections. Most household suppliers will be largely the business of your housekeeper, the butler's partner in the running of the household. I have her own Mrs. Weller. She will keep an eagle eye on the accounts and manage the female stuff. Speaking of which, good housemaids like children should be seen and not heard. Enough that the house should be clean and neat. I have lived in the bar's field without the family having to be disturbed by it. The footmen, on the other hand, are very much the public face of the stuff, and their appearance is a reflection of the household itself. Even when cleaning knives and trimming candles, they should be well planned out. When serving the family at dinner or otherwise in public, they must be immaculate. And there are servants, of course, whose time will be spent almost exclusively with their master or mistress. The valet, for instance, and the lady's maid provide not only assistance with getting dressed and styling hair, but often companionship. They must, of course, be highly skilled, impeccably presented, 